Are we going to like smash every rock around along the way? Are we taking like all the taluses on? Like what's the plan with that? You know, if we killed all the stone taluses and put them on the ground in the shape of a penis, they would become stone phalluses. Why'd you have to start the part with that? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I I need to get my one joke in that makes everyone comment about how horrible it is right away, just so that they can comment on it and then go. Good. Anyway. It's called engagement, bro. There's Tarrytown. Now, uh, in order to do the rest of this, you need a hundred pieces of wood. So I went ahead and I got roughly about, where is it? A hundred and three pieces of wood. You just had to overachieve and get that three more, huh? I basically turned that place into a fucking wasteland. <laughs> <laughs> like, all the Lorax just stood there and watched Slake demolish the entire forest. The Lorax was counting his money he got from those Kia advertisements. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I still can't believe that they did, like car advertisements Ooh. with the Lorax. Like, how deaf do you have to be? Like, not even an electric car. They, they were just saying, like, oh, it's it's hybrid or whatever. They were just trying to just sell a fucking car mm. to, along to the environmental movie. <sighs> That's what capitalism brings you to sometimes. Okay, it, does anyone else see Hudson's hair talking to us? <laughs> no. <laughs> don't. No, don't. <laughs> it can't be unseen. Look at Chad I am right now, the diamond circler, and we got the Savage Line of Shield, and, you know, Daruk's weapon. It's called Fashion Tom. Get used to it, Hudson. Uh, let's see. One last wrinkle. Yeah, I know, their name has to be, yeah. Mm -hmm. Name can't make children cry. You got it. Uh, a Gerudo. Oh, I know where to go for this one. I've memorized it all, so I has. We need to, you know, get in that diversity higher. Jesus. Look, they were perfectly qualified. It had nothing to do. Whoa. By the by, people in the comments have nicely informed us that uh, in the same place that we got the diamond circlet, which is uh, in the lab room f just past Robbie's place in Akala. You can also find an EX chest, which has a teleportation thing in, which basically allows you to create a warp point anywhere. Don't really expect to get much use out of this, but it's there if you want to. It's pretty cool. I had no idea that existed, because I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, they went over... The, uh, the direct, they, they went over some of the stuff for it, uh, but like, the only thing I really stuck onto was the outfits. But yeah, there was a couple different things that were not just the, um, not just the outfits that were added in the DLC, which are like, really easy to forget about. Let me actually check what's all in the DLC. I just wanted to get out of them as soon as possible. Like, I was trying to find the fastest way to get to the shrines, so I just didn't have to deal with them anymore, versus, you know, actually putting my, my Zelda pants on and go exploring for for treasure. But yeah, it's pretty cool that there's a, a, a teleportation any point. Like, that's kind of the only way you'd really be able to function a, a quick travel in a game that already gives you so many waypoints. At least it's not a whole big Nehru's love thing, like... That, that, that always felt a little iffy in terms of its usability. Go down the ramp, Scrongus. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Can the horses go in the desert? Yeah, this is what I asked last time. I guess not. That is my favorite share song. Can the horses go in the desert? <laughs> right up there with dual hydro melons. <laughs> Not interested. Yiga, more like see ya. <laughs> Got him. And and uh, a cool thing though about the uh, item that lets you place down uh, custom waypoints is it is a medallion in the style of um, Link to the Past. I think that's a real cool thing because boy, you don't get many of those nowadays. 
Nope. Not unless they just give you the entire game again. Mm -hmm. I still don't get people that are like, oh, I played A Link Between Worlds, I don't need to play A Link to the Past. It's like, why would you do... No! That's play strange. A Link to the Past! Like, I I, I think that's just so... It's, it's a frustrating. I guess that's the emotion. You know, I, I have nothing to do with the game, but it's just it's a little frustrating when people say that they won't play A Link to the Past because they played A Link Between Worlds. It's like, no, please play both. It's just strange because I feel like A Link to the Past is a game... That Thank you, yes. Link to the Past is a no, game. No, I'm not done yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thesis. Stamped. Done. Much like almost everything on, you know, the uh, SNES classics on the Switch, it's like, it's there and it's available for almost every person with a Switch because I don't know who doesn't have the Nintendo Online. Like, there's a couple people, but most people have it. Are you telling me it's it's like Uno? <laughs> it's like, yeah, Link to the Past is like Uno. It comes pre-installed on the oldest Nintendo Switch in all the world. <laughs> you can play a Link to the Past. I don't have a Link to the Past. Yes, you do! She's around there somewhere. I can sense the sun. <laughs> I can smell her. Ah. Nope, not you. We just go up and talk to her. We check her name. Nope, sorry. You're not the right one. She's here somewhere. Don't worry about that guy. He's fine. That's what you say about every NPC that stops moving. Could it be Madame running around here? She's a fucking rip. Damn. I know she's here. Does she pop up in the morning? Yeah, I'm checking right now. Hey. Meanwhile, just keep on talking to people. Uh, it looks like it needs to be the day. Son of a bitch. And she'll be under a red canopy. You got it. I'll just walk all over a stock and whatnot. There we go. Easy peasy. Lemon fucking squeezy. Hunting NPCs down. The Zelda way. Oh, you just moved uh, backwards, backwards. Aha, there she is. It's almost like she's an important NPC or something. Wow. You know, she was this close to being named Rhonda. But because the parents decided to change, you know, at the last second, she's now employable. Oh man, I think we're setting up Hudson with a bride. 90 day Hylian fiancé. <laughs> it's, it's purely an economical transaction that ties these two human beings together for life. Uh oh. God, my mom has been watching all the 90 day fiancé shows. And it's just like, I'll go upstairs and I'm like, are they never not arguing? Like, it feels like no matter who it is, none of those relationships end up working well. Ah, well, so she's life. And thus it is put onto the screen for us to view. Yeah, Tarrytown's pretty fucking far from here. It's alright, she'll sand seal the entire way. Uh, including over, you know, uh, the rocky terrain outside of here, which will absolutely brutalize that sand seal. There's like a whole damn chasm. <laughs> oh god, that is so far. <laughs> Don't worry, sand seals have been known to fly in times of peril. Okay, you joke about that, but do you remember what using Reju's glider is in... Age of Calamity, yeah. she literally flies with the sand seal, and it makes no sense. Oh my god. What are you talking about? It makes all the sense. Pay no attention to Mex's lies. Such filthy lies. Careful, we might start spacking. Clearly someone at Nintendo wanted to have a fun comical joke 
when, when they put the town this far away. So, like, don't blame it on me. Don't, t don't put that on me, Ricky Bobby. Well, I mean, there's only so many places that Jesus Christ. <laughs> Terry Town is set on fire. We'll go back to the beginning. <laughs> uh, whoop. Yeah. Doggo. Sorry, I had a bit of trouble getting over there. Here you go, have a melon. Eat the melon. Eat the melon! The next Zelda game isn't about whether you can awaken divine beasts or not, it's about whether you can, like, give fruit to, to each NPC in the world. This becomes, like, this huge, like, Yoshi story crossover deal. You wanted to go more NPC focused. Yeah. Well, if you want to do that, Majora's Mask, and I guess this to a certain extent is a good byline. That's what I'm saying. It's like it'd be like more of a Majora's Mask type game, but you just go around giving everyone food that you've made and cooked. All right, we need new houses. Thankfully, I have the wood that you need. Do you have the real estate? I do, but you have to build it yourself, sir. <laughs> Well, it comes with IKEA instructions, so I mean, it can't be that hard. Uh, general store up and running. Uh, da, 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 da. Someone who knows about distribution and can run a general store. Mm. Ah, I know this dude. Are we a matchmaker or a recruiter now? Bit of both. Considering it's a Rita, we might also be Uber Eats because they want some hot wings. Uh, shit. Sure. <laughs> it took a second. <laughs> Link's resume is going to be stacked. There we go. Now we can just walk back to Tarrytown. Nice. Okay, so we go over here and we go to Rito Village. Bada bing, bada boom. Why would we want to walk back when we could fly? Or glide or teleport. Look at them all. My happy animal cracker friends up there. Hey, 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 you can't use that word. <laughs> Sorry. What the fuck is wrong with you this session, Tanner? <laughs> I feel like you say that every session. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's becoming increasingly frequent. <laughs> Anywho. I keep this weapon on me at all times. This is my giant rock breaker axe. Technically, it came from a Goron, but now it's mine, and it's the only one. Someone shouted hoy. Was that you? Well, I mean, we are on a place that has a fucking Wind Waker callback, so I'm not surprised. And he's, you know, he's just busting out there. He's trying to get people to come buy his warm clothing, even though we totally already bought it all. I think that was a woman, actually. Oh, never mind. No thanks, we already have pants. Ugh, fucking mom wants me to work like an adult. Aww. I mean, at least he is wanting to work. He's not just a fucking neat Rito. <laughs> a Rito, if you will. It's sort of uh, got to kick him out of the nest, so to say. Yeah, a bit on the nose this time, don't you think? I mean, the game's setting him up. I'm just knocking him down. And there it is, they just said it. <laughs> it's like what they don't show is the chasm of Rito bones scattered beneath the rock village. Oh. But that's just because you don't have control of the camera. See ya! This fucking music gets me every time. <laughs> It's the fact that he can fly, and he's on a launch pad, and he decides to walk there. <laughs> well, it's assumed that he, like, flew, okay? Uh, maybe he's, you know, maybe he's like a, a goose and needs to get in water to build up speed. I guess so, Turner. What a stupid thing to say. Fun fact about Canadian geese, uh, they are uh, one of the deadliest creatures, and they are everywhere, and they have uh, poison barbs in their wings, and they will strike you. That's not a joke. That is real. Holy shit, that's amazing. Like, you just totally notify that the goose is pretty hard. There's like, they are everywhere. Hide in your houses. Do not leave your houses. The goose will not accept surrender of mercy. <laughs> I have a pond behind my house, and, like, every year, 
we get, you know, four or five families of geese that, you know, settle down there to lay their eggs. And then within like a couple weeks, now there's like a hundred of them. They grow up so fast. Well, most of them end up getting eaten by other animals, so at least take solace in that. Here is the wood. Nope, bye. You think I'm carrying this pickaxe for shits and giggles, son? <laughs> it's like he gives you the pickaxe and it's a two-handed weapon. You can oh. spin it around. He got engaged. Congrats. To whom? Ah, oh, yes, the only female in the village. That makes sense. Bit of a shotgun wedding, but alright. Kind of awkward that she's selling clothes that I've already bought the complete set for. Ah, priest-like, eh? Yeah, the Zora. I want to fish to officiate my wedding as well. Hudson, you're kind of stretching it now. Well, whatever. I know exactly who he wants. This wedding is purely economical. 90 days. <laughs> oh my god. Are you saying Hudson's a beard? Could be. Oh no, maybe Ronson would be the beard. Never mind, sorry. I got my terms mixed up there. <laughs> you mix matched your chins with your beard, but that's okay. Who knows? <sighs> Alright, the guy we're looking for here is uh, actually just behind the, uh, the king's chamber. And uh, actually, way back when we were here the first time, I mentioned... Uh, Mifa's diary being a thing. Ooh, scandalous. Oh no. So why don't we go have a little peek? It's just up here. Dear diary, why am I so moist around Link? Oh wait, I'm a fish! I'm always moist! I'm pretty sure it should be here. Maybe I'm thinking of the Champions Ballad. Ah, uh, possibly. Could be. So I'll tell you what's not here. Mifa's privacy. Oh, jeez. But Link, there's something I wish to ask you. What are you bang side on? No, don't steal jokes from other commentary groups, Tom. Yeah, that's my job. <laughs> yeah, I met your fucking daughter's ghost, mate. Oh! Oh, I see. Link at this po point just turn has become like a successful exorcist. He's able to communicate pretty freely with the dead, pass on their dying messages. Oh, that's right. I shift it. We are united now. Just gotta lock that ship up. I'm sorry, I don't see Link and Zelda together. I just don't. Oh no, yeah, no, absolutely not. They they are s s almost zero romantic chemistry between them. Really? I, at, at least in this game. I really don't feel it. Link's devotion is fully professional? I feel like it. Just total duty bound. He, he got his ass beat. Like, all memory, plot things aside, like, really. Not because he liked her. I, I, you know what? There's more evidence for this one than Twilight Princess, I'll say that. Yeah, yeah. I was referring to, like, Link in general. I do, I do see some romantic undertones with Zelda here. Or at least maybe she towards he. I think there there's some games where it's really explicit, and you're like, oh yeah, 100%, you know, like, uh, usually the ones with, like, the, the Toon Zelda, you know, you got your Wind Waker, you got your Minish Cap, you got your Spirit Tracks, like, those ones for sure, but I feel like in most of the, the more mature, like, I mean, like, physically, like, her design-wise, the more mature ones, you don't get that a lot, you know, it's, 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 it feels more, more professional. Get a load of this. I agree with you. That's why I feel this game kind of switches it up where you sort of... I mean, it's sort of the whole point of gathering the memories is you get those moments where the two of them, like, stepped it up relationship-wise. So, um, but yeah, I mean, to to the series history, yeah, the relationship between Link and Zelda has, has been poor, poor at, <laughs> for majority of it, but... Um, no, I really think that at least with this one, like, did this Link and this Zelda, they got some things together. It may not have, like, 
be like at its like full blossom, but I just feel like everything that we learned through the memories kind of shaped it to give them a pretty solid relationship together. All right, just a couple more steps and we're done with this quest. Then we get to the reception and then Link gets his cake. That's all Link really wants out of all of this. Kinda. You could make cake. Oh, hello. Well, okay. Yeah, this place is getting pretty nice. Where the fuck is Hudson? Dang, man. I wish construction went this quickly over here, because, oh jeez. Oh jeez, does it take forever. No, I'm going to buy a diamond while I'm here. It takes time to make things, Tanner. Things don't just appear. <laughs> Never mind. Second thoughts, I'm good. Hey, and you're like, how's it going, Hudson? She's six weeks pregnant. We, we were just over there. <laughs> oh my god. How much time passes when I teleport from place to place? Finally, my Bippin reference, or Blippin, whatever the the farmer and the, the farmer couple that has the child that grows up over the game. Like same shenanigan happens there too. Okay, yeah, go get your friends from a hat and o village. Okay. Booyah! How the way we go, just down here. I know I was uh, really worried when this game first came out to be like, you know, are there going to be... I mean, for a while, we didn't see a single, like, you know, village in the game. And I w we were all a bit worried, is it all in the wild? But I'm really happy that not only do you, was there, like, a good amount of villages in this game, but they're very interconnected with each other. And especially this quest here with the town building, like, it, it really does show, like... Even through the apocalypse, you know, all these communities are kind of working together to to get through the tough times. Oh, I always love uh, those human spirit type stories, especially when, like you said, they do it in the opposed apocalyptic setting. <laughs> yes, it's upgrade time, boys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh. We'll name it. Colony 23. I mean, we're building it up. I see no better name than a colony. And I mean, hey, if you remember, like, we actually have a Rex outfit you can get in this game, so... I'm just gonna make sure to never do that. <laughs> Rex in Breath of the Wild, not in Smash. Look, I'm gonna be real. I know people hate Rex's outfit, but I kind of like it. Alright, I, I realize it's uh, his profession to be a diver, but... I like the fact that, like, it functionally shows, like, when he's going diving, like, it actually puffs up and turns into the, like, the diving outfit. And al also, uh, halfway through the game, there might be an outfit change, so... It's not like you need to get used to it. It doesn't make it better! No! Yeah, it doesn't make it better. I think I prefer the original. <laughs> like, don't, no, do not. <laughs> Like, especially when the game has, like, multiple character designers in it, and, like, you, like, a side-by-side -side of characters in the exact same game designed by someone else are, like, more cohesive and more tight and, like, less... It, it, no. It, the, the outfit does not get better that by the end of the game. Do not. That, is, that does not occur. <laughs> Look, I know that the Big Booby Bunny Girl is, like, the best design in any Nintendo game. You know, it's, it's okay. You, it's, it's, I understand. <laughs> It's not even that, <laughs> but yet yeah, that's one of the, the more egregious, but it's not even that. <laughs> like, just some of them, just like, characters just clothing-wise, clothing choices. <laughs> and then some of them, you do have some just odd anatomy questions, I'd say. And I think that's the best way to put those. <laughs> you guys having this intense conversation about character designs. Meanwhile, I'm over here just like, haha, Sheikah sends her, go upgrade boom. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, Pur is on screen, who is an, a, a, an entire bundle of questionable character design choices of herself. Uh, I don't care that she's 500, no. You know what, at the very least, we, because I remember when um, Breath of the Wild, uh, the art book came out, and you could see in there, 
um, the artwork of kind of Beta Pura, who was like, you know, a teenager with like an amp and a guitar. And you're like, oh, you're so much better. And, you know, I was like, well, I guess we'll never see that. Then come Age of Calamity. And it's like, surprise. That's what that's the design they're using. And it's like, yes, saved. Here you go, nerds. Here you go. The Sheikah sensor, I believe, should allow us to take a picture of something and then track it. Nice. I have. I honestly forgot entirely about these upgrades. I felt like, like as we were talking about earlier, it's like, well, just just stasis them. It's like because you forgot about you, you need to upgrade it to do it. And to be fair, this is when I did like the vast majority of my like photography and tracking in the game was really just the mandatory part where the game like made me do it. Because after that, I was I didn't really like need to know where all the blue-footed cranes in Hyrule were. Like, not at that moment, really. <laughs> but the game lets you do that, so kudos on that and to the people who use it and, like, thrive on it, but what is it my cup of tea? It is good for if you're missing, like, one specific sort of crafting item and, like, you want to find it. Like, for example, we were looking for the lizards earlier, right? Like, that would be very helpful there where it's like, okay, I cannot find the lizards. So put it on your sensor and you can, like, you know, sense lizards. <laughs> the lizards. That's probably, like, the only other time I really used it. <gasps> Bloody hell. That's the plus. So much better than the base we remote. I mean, what? Yeah, so can I go? I have a wedding to attend. Thank you. To attend? You done planned the whole damn thing, bro. Like, you're, you're kind of part of the staff and crew at this point. Still got a little bit to do. Ah, uh, hat it though. The Kakariko we never had. Well, we've also got Kakariko Village in this game, so... The best one. I think they're over here. Yeah, they just chill by your house. They have nowhere else to go. They're like, well, we finished our last job. Might as well just stay around. Main character syndrome. NPCs just keep showing up to your house. I do really hope, come Breath of the Wild 2 you already have the house, and then you can do more stuff with the fact that you already have a house. Well, that's assuming it even takes place on this overworld. I think it will. I think I think it'd be weird to not just work with what you have and just add on more, you know? Change up some stuff, but I, I can't see them scrapping the overworld. Maybe cutting out some of the edges, but I feel like this area, I feel like all the towns will definitely be back. I don't know, I could see them doing like a whole World of Warcraft, Majora's Mask, where like, yeah, it's the same Hyrule, but a thing happened, and now the whole map looks different. It's the same assets, but I, I could see them just going like, fully different, like, location sets mm. and stuff. Oh. We gotta go help out our bro. Mm-hmm. I assume you can still get upgrades from your house by going to Tarrytown and talking to them. I've never tested it, honestly. I feel like they come back after the wedding. Because I definitely remember doing the wedding stuff and then coming back here to do the house stuff. So I think they come back. But if not, then yeah, you could, you, you're could. you definitely not locked out of it. And away they go. But if they do bring it back, and they do carry over this continuity of Link getting this house, then clearly the only significant upgrade to that that they could possibly do would be for you to earn a cow that you could then put into your house, mm -hmm. similar to what you could do in Ocarina of Time. Like it's the only, it's the next logical step. You gotta get your house, your house cow. House cow. Actually, that would be one thing that you know would improve the world for Breath of the Wild 2, and that's giving you models to be able to play around with, you know, like, carry some water around, carry some other stuff, you know, for the, for all the different things like that. Ooh, I would add the next level there, huh. Alright, I think we're about ready, lads. Let's finish off this side quest. We 
We now pronounce you job well done. Yes. <laughs> oh no. Hod and Son. Together at last. Hall and Oates. If these two have a child, is there a chance they'd name him Sun Son? No, it's a girl. And then, you know. Well, that's... Yeah, and then she's uh, low tier in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Oh. Uh, no. I love how Hudson's still not wearing a shirt. <laughs> no. Not any other day of his life. Not on his wedding day. That's the Hudson oh way of life. God, the, the fact he's not wearing a shirt just accentuates how naked from the waist up he is with that bow tie. <laughs> It's his favorite rendition of the uh, classic sumo garb, uh, known in the Hyrule lands. I mean, to be fair, his wife isn't wearing as, you know, much clothing either. It's the company guidelines, babe. <laughs> There's a dress code at this here, this here wedding, and we're all adhering to it. <laughs> Can someone take this baby for his nap, please? <laughs> And this giant baby. <laughs> it's like he's actually like, you know, 25 years old and he just looks like that. <laughs> Ronson is settling. Well, who knows? Maybe she actually loves Hudson for him. And I'm just a gigantic judgmental prick. He has a great personality and he makes her laugh. Uh, he also has a dick made of chocolate. Huge penis. Oh... Just a large schlong. Oh, look at like Clav. I never noticed that before. There, see, everyone's happy. Everyone's playing along. We're all good. No one has to say shit. No one has needs to speak up. Keep the mouth shut. I just want it as it fades up to just be like, don't you forget, forget about, about me. me. <laughs> Link age twenty. Hundred and twenty more like. Hey, it's you. We're divorced now. <laughs> it's like, we were just there! Aw, oh, he's so happy. Yeah, look at this town, bro. Fuck yeah. I mean, these look like Ikea flat pack houses, but... Hey, I mean, if it works, it works. That's just why I need to upgrade my circle. Thank you very much. Hyrule eventually just gets to that part where it starts erecting apartment buildings. Alright, one last thing before we head to a certain island out at sea. And that shall be the last thing on our agenda. Now would be a good time for us to pick up all the best weapons and all the best gear and food, because nothing could possibly stop us if we stock up on items. Oh no. Said the foolish gamer. The foolish gamer subscribed to foolish gaming channels. All right, give me that circle upgrade. I think I can manage a couple, actually. Hooray for more circles! Oh. All right, Marie Antoinette, give me what you got. Shazam! Oh, seven. Very nice. That no, I'm good. I've seen that before. Da 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 da. <laughs> And I think I can do it once more. And we also have a bunch of other stuff that can be upgraded, so we'll take a look there, too. And head some way. Where is my circle? There it is. Yeah, wow, 12! That's a big number for your headpiece, at least. Mm -hmm. The next one, I think, needs seven diamonds and a star fragment, so I'm probably not going to get that. Also, I think we need another great fairy. Um, because I think we've got the, all but one of them, so... One of them has yet to reveal themselves. Oh. Sure, why not? I like these. And I like how, like, um, Age of Calamity establishes, like, yeah, that was just what Link actually wore when he wasn't <laughs> a champion. Like, he was just a generic soldier. Although he didn't wear his helmet, because he needed to let his luscious locks flow. They paid some designers damn good money for locks of gold, and they're gonna get to animate them, damn it.
Alright, that should be enough crafting or whatever upgrading for now. <laughs> Goodbye! Huh? Yeah, I don't know about that. Your last sister needs 10,000 rupees. I think we're... I think we're good for now. Yeah, I'm fine with the... Yeah. Whoa!